Hi, I'm Katie Mafucci, and this is Teen V's first installment of Dude, What's Your Talent? Every week we'll be showcasing ordinary people with extraordinary talent from all over the 518. Our guest today is George Wilson of Wine & Skill, a talented fiddler, banjo player, and singer. As a fiddler, George has a repertoire of nearly over 500 tunes. This dynamic fiddling is strongly influenced by French-Canadian styles and has been popular with contra dancers and concert goers since the late 1970s. He also composes his own music. To date, George has recorded three albums, Northern Melodies, The Royal Circus, A Menagerie of Northern Fiddle Tunes, and his newest CD, A Collection of Northern Tunes. How is French Canadian style playing different from the traditional Irish style? Well, it's a lot bouncier and it's real happy and upbeat and just a lot of fun. And also the fiddlers clog dance with their feet while they're uh, sitting playing the fiddle. Shall I show you what it's like? That would be great. Okay, here we go. What attracted you to the French-Canadian style of playing, and how have you put your own stamp on it? Well, I put my own stamp right there with my feet. That's a good pun. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I'm good at that. Uh, I, the second fiddle recording I ever got in about 1972 was a French-Canadian fiddler named Jean Carignan, who was a taxi driver in Montreal, but he had all the technique of a concert violinist. And so that really kind of got me excited about that. And then I uh, heard, got records of a guy named Louis Baudouin, who uh, lives up in, did live up in Burlington, Vermont. And I still play with his family once in a while. And uh, they're a lot of fun. Just fun stuff, you know, and other styles of fiddling are mixed in there too. You've performed with various bands throughout the years, including Fennig's All-Star String Band and the Whippersnappers. Um, how do you like jamming with other musicians? Oh, I love it. It's great. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Just the musical conversation that goes on between people, uh, rhythmic bouncing off each other. Just a lot of fun. Violinists are notoriously attached to their string instruments, and I would imagine it's the same for fiddlers. A woman who once had her Italian violin stolen from her said, I felt like I had let go of a child's hand in a crowd. Have you ever lost or damaged a violin? I've had a couple of fiddle accidents. I've never had a fiddle that I was attached to quite that much. Of course, no fiddle I've ever had was worth $3 million either. So, <laughs> nor will it ever be. Uh, but, yeah, but I, I do also repair 
violins a little bit, and uh, one of them I glued together, and the other one was cheap, and it, um, I just got a better one. And then I've got this carbon fiber fiddle, which is quite a lot less destructible than um, most wooden fiddles. How does it compare to a wooden fiddle? I could play it out in the rain if I wanted to. I don't want to. <laughs> it's nice to have options though, all the same. Yeah. Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones just published his autobiography. It's called Life and it's filled with stories of wild partying and screaming females. Do fiddle players have as much fun as rock stars? I think we probably do. We don't have too many screaming females. I haven't run into any actually yet. And um, some fiddlers have wild parties, you know, after gigs and stuff, and I've never been too much at participating in that. Um, I, I'm a more, more of a morning person than all that, I guess. Uh, but there are some interesting parties that I've heard of, but nothing like Keith Richards. I can guarantee. <laughs> what music influenced you in your teen years? Uh, in my teen years, well, before my teen years, I listened to a lot of classical music. And then um, in my teen years, I listened to a lot of Peter, Paul, and Mary recordings and learned to play guitar from listening to those. And when I was nine, I had had one violin lesson and practiced about twice. And then when I was 12, my buddy next door and I both got guitars and figured all of that out. And then in my later teen years, it was more like Steppenwolf and The Cream and Led Zeppelin and Jimi Hendrix. And I played bass in a rock band in high school. Then when I was 20, I got the, not this fiddle, but another old fiddle out that I'd had that lesson on and tried to remember what I could and um, the rest is history. Do you have a fiddle nemesis you would like to duel with? Nope. No? <laughs> I have a lot of fiddle heroes that I would like to, well, m most of the best fiddle heroes of mine are dead, but I would have loved to uh, play with them and learn from them. But I don't have a nemesis. I'm a lucky guy. And finally, has the devil ever challenged you to a fiddling contest? Well, that's how this thing is so black. You see, he did once, and I won, and he turned my fiddle black. And then I'm going <laughs> to drop it. <laughs> Before we end, George is going to play one more song. We'd like to thank him for being our first guest on Dude, Where's Your Talent? and for being such a fun and talented guest. We would also like to present George with the... Teen V Pineapple Participation Award. Thank and you. It's gonna That's great. Get that after the show. Yeah. <laughs> about George Wilson and his work, please visit his website at www.oldsongs.org slash georgewilson.html. And if you know any talented people in the 518 area, contact Team B, even, on Twitter. I'm Katie Mafucci, and you stay challenged, Catholic.